What's up, YouTube? This is Oli Bombay. Have the MTAR with the extended clip and quick draw attachments. Gold MTAR, my favorite gun in the game, actually. Um, today, I want to talk to you about what piece of equipment you can use to um, improve your gaming performance. And that equipment is a CRT TV. That's the tube TV, the, the box TV that you got to bang on and get your channels in clear. Doesn't matter what uh, CRT TV you use, uh, as long as they got the component or the AV input, then you're fine. The reason I like the CRT TV is because it has very low input lag and very minimal uh, response time. It actually has no response time, zero response time, comparable to those gaming monitors out there that has, look at me, getting shot in the back by the enemy. The guy probably thought he unloaded a clip in my back. Couldn't kill me. We need to get that guy CRT TV. Get his gamer tag. Find out his contact information. Send him a CRT. But anyway, you know, like the gaming monitors, they got ViewSonic. I remember back in the days had the one millisecond response time. Actually, it wasn't that long ago. Maybe two or three years ago. Had the one millisecond response time. Low input lag. But uh, even that isn't as fast as the CRT TV. And um, I'm not going to go into great detail as to what response time and input lag means. I'm going to kind of just break it down for you. Look at me shoot my own teammate. I thought he had the blind eye or the cold-blooded prayer. I thought he was an enemy with blind eye or cold-blooded. But uh, a low input lag and response time gives you a better chance to see your enemy before you shoot them. In other words, kind of like having a better internet connection. You can see your enemy clearly, then you can aim and shoot. Um, also, it helps you aim better because the gun is moving consistent with what you're doing on the controller. So as you move your controller, your gun, your weapon, whatever weapon of choice you're using is moving consistent with what you're doing on the controller. So that's all with the input lag and response time is. It um, basically makes it look like you got a better internet connection and you have a more accurate weapon. That's what you're going to get the feel of. That's the feel you're going to get when you're playing on a CRT TV. Now, I don't know how the gaming monitors feel. I never played on a gaming monitor. Uh, I'm sure they're close to what a CRT is. Um, if you have a gaming monitor, post in the comments section. Let me know how you feel about your gaming monitor or if you have a monitor with... Um, low response time maybe two milliseconds let me know how that's working for you if you have a crt tv uh, let me know how that's working for you let me know if you feel the same way about it i mean me personally look at me kill the ghost guy panic knifed him me personally i don't play on flat panel tvs i only play on crt uh, only time i play on a flat panel is when i'm playing with my son in his bedroom um, at one point, I got rid of my CRT. I didn't think I needed it, but then found out the hard way <laughs> I needed it. But yeah, that's all I play with the CRT. Only only monitor or TV I play on. Uh, I hate to go over other people's house and game over their house on their TVs because just the input lag. I mean, it's noticeable. It's noticeable if you got a CRT and you've been playing on it. It's very noticeable. You may not notice if you never played on no different TV but the one you got and you probably won't notice see over here I'm gonna go run over in the corner kill this guy I knew he was coming around the corner because I seen him in my on my radar when I had my hailstorm and that's something you should do like when you're in your kill streaks if you didn't kill the guy kind of pay attention to where they ran if they're in your area or they running towards your area or somewhere you can get to go ahead and try to get that kill um, also I want to touch on the way people uh, debate on who's the greatest player, uh, you know, this player is greater or that player. Uh, we would never really know. There's not an equal playing field. You know, these guys are running Verizon Files 35-35, most of these YouTube gamers. Not saying they're not great players. They, these guys have skills and have um, good map knowledge, spawn knowledge, things like that, weapon knowledge. I get a headshot at the end. But at any rate, you know, still can't compare. There's probably a guy in a boondock somewhere 
bad internet connection with a point eighty KDR, and he's probably the greatest player in the game if you put him on an even equal playing field. So really can't get into those debates of who's the greatest. I didn't do the greatest on this game. I went twenty five and one, and this is Ole Bombay, and I'm out.